Hi friends, hello, welcome back. I am want to, right off the bat, I'm going to apologize. That last video, although it had lots of good things in it, the sound quality was so bad. I had the mic sitting up here and every time I would move. Now, when I'm editing, honestly, I could not hear the difference, but until I actually uploaded it, watched it on YouTube to see, and the sound, I was even cringing. So I apologize if you're having to lip sync or do this when it got really loud. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go without a mic. I'm very mild mannered at speaking and sometimes I even mumble. So I'm going to have to learn to speak louder. And I talk with my hands all the time. So that didn't help with the mic either. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I do, I talk with my hands. So um, yeah, I, if I don't have them to move, I don't know if I could talk. I can't talk, I have to move my hands. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, <laughs> Thank you for going through that with me and um, welcome. And I hope that you will like the content that you see. Go back and watch the other videos. Learn to lip sync a couple times and do this, but you know, go back and watch the other ones and, and I hope that you'll enjoy those too. And um, if you do like what you see, hit that thumbs up for me and hit the subscribe, maybe even ring the bell, you know, get notified when I, when I upload. Um, I, uh, want to thank the, I was going to show you something back here, but I think I've got to do this first. I need to thank those who are, have been subscribed and are subscribed and are still continuing to watch besides, you know, re regardless of the sound. I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, we're going to, I wanted to show you this. So see, this is new. See that? That's Tamu. Oh, if you didn't know, it's a Tamu haul, right? It's unsponsored. I'm doing this on all of this. All these videos have been unsponsored. Um, I'm considering doing or trying to apply for it, but I think that you have to have so many subscribers and all that kind of thing. And I'm not sure that I want to do that. I was reading some of the, um, you know, the rules. It's not bad. It's just, uh, I don't know if I want to put up, <laughs> go to all that work <laughs> to do it. It does seem like work. But yeah, but this is a Tamu uh, I got today in a haul in, in a package that I wanted to open it because I was, I believe, I thought that this might be in there. I'm using this, it's a nice runner, so for a table, but I am using it over this because that right there shows a lot of glare off from the ring light that I use. So I thought maybe I could use this to cover that up too. And maybe we wouldn't, it wouldn't be so much glare uh, and you wouldn't have to worry about that ring being behind me. So let's get on with this haul today. Um, this one's going to be jewelry and um, clothing and we'll see how, how much more we can do in maybe 40, 45 minutes because I don't want uh, to keep you, I'm trying to get them to about 40, 45 minutes long and not any long, you know, not too much longer than that. So Let's see where we get. Uh, so let's do jewelry first, and then I will show you um, the clothing at the end. Uh, and I, I did model it. Don't, don't. I'm not a model, okay? I'm just, I'm not, I don't have that. I don't have that. I used to have that. It was really nice. I really missed that. I'm more like this now, menopause. But here we go. Bracelets. Let's talk. Let's talk to new stone, supposedly stone bracelets. Okay. Anybody who's watched my channel, I they know I love trees. I love nature. I love to go out and and get in the nature. I love oceans and trees and mountains and there, there's just I love it all. So, and I love rocks. And so I like to go, if I'm not taking pictures of trees and oceans, I'm taking, I'm looking for rocks. 
So when I saw that Tamu had stones in bracelets, I wanted some, right? Well, when you're looking at the description, it's very important. Even the descriptions are just, even the description is deceptive because when you go to look at what it says the material is made of, some of them will say stone. There might be three stones on there that are actually stone and the rest of the bracelet is plastic or glass. And I, I get it, buyer beware, price is, not, price is low, stone is high. But yeah, at least they could be honest enough to say, yeah, this is actually three stones on here that are, there's four stones or whatever that are actually real. The rest of them are all fake. And to show you one of them right now, I want to show you this one. So this one, if I can bring it up, um, let's see if I can find that one. Yeah, here we go. Well, that's this one. So I think I have all the bracelets in this order. So let's go to this order. Or at least most of the bracelets are in this order. Um, bum, 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 bum. Can I go to the whole order? Yeah, it's more order information. Okay. I was hoping I would have all of this. Okay, this one is called Emotional Relief Bracelet Amethyst. It says Apache Tears, Rhodochrosite. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I like rocks. It doesn't necessarily know. I don't know how to pronounce them. Um, Rose Quartz, Selenite. It says provides a gift of comfort, peace, love, and strength jewelry for sadness and loss, healing crystals, condolences, comfort, and peace. And then it shows amethyst, which looks like real amethyst stones on it. And this looks like glass. Like little, these do not look like amethyst. They're too purple. They're too clear. Right? On, on the picture itself, it, you can see the differences in the amethyst itself. This just looks like a little, it's either glass or acrylic bead. This one may be selenite. It's supposed to be selenite. It's very lightweight. For stone, it shouldn't be. But I can guarantee you that all of these blue that you see here, they're all plastic. Every one of them. They were some sort of acrylic bead. And I'm very disgusted. This is supposed to be rose quartz. And what was the dark one supposed to be? I thought Apache tears were, were more, it's really bad. Well, lighting in for you is probably good, but for me, it's kind of dark in there right now. <laughs> and I don't know whether I should turn this light on, but I don't want to mess up the uh, the picture for you either. I hope I'm talking loud enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, don't mean it to sound like I'm mad about it. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I'm just trying to learn how to talk louder. <laughs> so let's see. I don't know. Does any one of these look like Apache tears to you? I thought Apache tears weren't black. And those look black. This is supposed, the pink one should be the rhodochrosite. If I'm, however you say that. But yeah, not real. And like I said, I realize that, you know, they're going to, uh, they're going to sell them, you know, you're buying things that are less, a lot less expensive. So you're thinking to yourself, oh, you know, because I've bought things that are very nice on Tamu that were very accurate to the description. But I'm telling you, these are not. Now this one is a little heavier, but is it actually citrine? I think there's a stone test you can do to, to you know, find out. You know, you can see where the knot is in it. So, 
This one is a, it's maybe, maybe. This one, definitely not. Let's see if I can find what this one says. Go back. Oh, all right. So I've got my little stand up here. And I, you see that? Yeah. I have to really hang on to it because it wobbles. Um, I actually accidentally hauled two of these. So one's in my bedroom where it's supposed to be. That was why I bought it in the first place. But then when I got the second one, I thought, well, let's just see. I'll just attach it to this table in here and we'll see where it goes. Right now it's going, mm -hmm, and I'm getting kind of seasick. So let's see. I'm looking for the citrine. It's acting like it's not in this order, but I thought I had all of them in this order. All right, well, let's find one that's in this order. Okay, this one here. This, uh, this one's called Energizing Appetite and Sunstone Bracelet. This one might have some possibilities. It's not, it's very cold, like a rock would be, but are they all actually stone? Let's see what it says on the materials. This one's called Appetite and Sunstone. I think I said that, yep. Appetite and Sunstone promotes happiness, adjust, adjustable fit, for all occasions. Let's just stretch. Let's just stretch. Okay, so uh, the material, it says it's the main material, natural stone. And you can see some of the impurities in it. So this one has a possibility of actually being natural stone. Did I ever, did we look to see? I don't think we did on this one. What did it say? It just says main material stone. Main material stone. That's not stone. Those are not stone people. Not. So, do I feel ripped off? Yes. Yes. Because I don't believe they're being, I mean, they should tell you. Three stones, that's all there is. It's actually real. The rest of it's not. This one, is this one on here? This one looks, yeah, I think this one's it. Oh boy. This one is called, it's sold out right now. Wait, let's see if I can get to the details. Amazonite, Amaz Amazonite, like the Amazon, lapis lazuli, redite, redite, aquamarine. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, eight millimeter uh, says, oh, rhodolite and rhodolite. Amazonite, aquamarine, lapis lazuli, and rhodolite. Uh, let's see what it says. The main material is stone. Honestly, this one does not look like stone. I think what they're doing is they're putting, because they're trying to keep them inexpensive, they are putting just very few. They're not all stone. And I just don't think that's, that's nice. So you can tell the difference too. When you pick one up, how heavy it is, right? Because some of them are not, that they don't feel like they're not cold. They don't feel like uh, rock. So I'm kind of, I am disappointed. I will not buy any more of their bracelets. Um, they're pretty. I'll wear them, but I don't believe they are. Now this one, this one right here, okay, says natural. It's really, I was, so have you seen moss agate or not moss agate? It has like, it looks like a moss running through it. I think there's another name for this, but they're calling this one natural, natural, creonite. 
not everything that's natural is actually organic or man or or natural earth made okay found that out from this this is when you go down to the description I'm because it said natural I thought yeah that's real I'll get it it's pretty and I paid more for this than I did ones that actually do have some real stone in it. This one says, Stone Creation Method. Stone Creation Method. None of the other ones said that, which makes me believe that these are man-made creations. They're calling it a gemstone. That's what I had looked at when I very first saw it. I didn't look up at the top. I just saw natural and gemstone because that's what's bold and bold is they put the natural gemstone. But then when you go off and it's not bold and it's very light, you see stone creation method natural, the main material gemstone, style, elegant, sexy. I don't think it's sexy, but I guess everybody sees sexy as something else. Um, yeah, that's what this one is. So I'm just I'm just going to show these to you, and I will link the link them. But buyer beware, okay? This definitely does not look. This looks like this is supposed to be amethyst. I don't believe it's amethyst. It's just too too purple. Looks like dyed bead, right? This is a smaller. You can see the difference in the size of the bead. Okay, here's another. I will link all of these so that you can take a look at them and decide for yourself if that's something you, if you don't mind it not being all rock, you know, natural or organic. I'm just going to say organic because natural does not mean organic. So this is, um, what do they call it? It's like a Dalmatian stone. <laughs> Looks like a little Dalmatian with the black and the white, or it's more like cream colored. And this one's small, too, is like this one. And then you have the bigger one, the bigger bead. Okay, now this one, I will say I believe all of it is stone. This one, I believe, is all stone. But you can see that is where they tied off. I can sit there and we, you know, try to get it through and into a bead so it doesn't show like that. But yeah, that one I believe is all stone and it's cold. When you put it on, it's very cold. It feels like a rock. This one. This one looks like glass beads. I think I showed you did that. Yeah, no, this is different than this one. Look at these. A lot of light had different properties, supposedly. But honestly, if they're not real, any properties that they're supposed to have. And when I talk about properties, I'm, I'm talking about if anybody believes in... Uh, the energies of the earth and the things that were provided for us for us on earth um that certain stones have certain meanings and certain um energies that are attached to them and can help with certain issues if you're sad one for happiness one for loss you know in fact when i was reading the description i tried to do this one night i was going to do a pajama party and I ended up deleting that video because one thing I looked terrible. I looked very tired because I was, I wasn't had insomnia and I wasn't sleeping, but anyway, <laughs> I look bad. So I just deleted that one completely. But this one, it, like I said, it really is. I think this one's the real thing here, but and it, it's in a very, it's pretty inexpensive bead. I mean, I've seen these on 
you know, to buy in stores on the beach shops. And they're not, not really expensive. So this one I, I do believe is probably real and it's cold, like I said. But when I was reading the description on this that night that I deleted it, um, it says to put it near your heart. Okay, well, you're not going to put that on. That's not going to be near your heart. But it says to put it near your heart for brokenheartedness and grief and that kind of thing. So it said stick it down your bra. Okay. What happens when it falls out? <laughs> I don't know. I wondered, could I take, I may just take it apart and make a necklace so I can put little pieces of it as a necklace because, yeah, I, I just feel a little strange sticking that down my bra. So, yeah, but that was, that was funny when I read that one. All right, and speaking of rocks and crystals and the thing, those things, I did buy, uh, because I wanted to learn what stone, the, the natural rock stone looked like, and I don't have a book. You'd think I would, and I think at one time I did, but I don't know what happened to it. It, it went by, what, by the wayside. I think it was a, even in one of the National Geographic or something like that, and I've got to get another one. But they had cards on to move. And these are actually pretty cool. So it gives you the stone. I mean, it doesn't have every stone. I don't think. I couldn't find some of them that I was looking for on here. But um, it does show a picture of it in its raw state. And then it tells you on the back. So this one is black tourmaline. And it says what it is. It says it's a grounding black tourmaline. It's a slightly magnetized, semi-precious gemstone with a reputation for protecting a delicate psyche from a case of the crazies. Oh, I better buy that one. And I may already have it. Well, I wonder where that's at. I better get that on quick. Okay, establishing a powerful uh, and establishing powerful energetic boundaries between you and all the zombies out there that's hilarious okay who needs it everyone <laughs> everyone <laughs> where to put it beside your doors to keep emotional vampires out Ooh. hmm interesting very interesting <laughs> on your person in your pocket everywhere so in other words just wear it day, morning, noon, night. Sleep with it. Uh, let's see. When to use it. Anytime you take public transportation, find yourself in a crowd, or hear that sucking sound of a co-worker, family member, malignant demon. Oh my goodness. Taking more from you than they are giving back. Protect your light. Black tourmaline. So yeah, there's just a whole... A lot of cards in here. Of course, it looks like I'm picking all the green ones and the yellow ones. There, no, there's other colors in there too. But yeah, and then it tells you that's their natural state and that it shows you. Is there a blue one in here? Because these all look yellow and green. Maybe it's just the light. Oh, there's, I think this is lapis. Is this lapis? Yeah, this is lapis lazuli. Yeah, so there's some blue ones. <laughs> there are. But yeah, if you just want to know what the the different stones are and see them in their natural state, I thought this would be fun to take with me when I'm out rock hounding. Because if I'm sometimes we're looking for stones and I'm like looking for agate or whatever, and I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I, I enjoy looking for it. It's fun. Fun. I come back with lots of different rocks more jewelry all right I'm going to show you some pins because uh in my haul I tried some shirts on and I have some shirts from another haul that are just a little lower cut than I kind of like and I have some sweaters that sometimes I want to you know clasp it together because they don't have buttons so I thought why not just get some pins and I have not owned a pin I think they'll, I think I still have that pin actually. 
was when I was in the Girl Scouts as a, in elementary school. We won't say the um, year. I'm not going there. <laughs> but these three come in a package. Or these come in a package of three. A little dyslexic there. Okay. These come in a packs, uh, packs of three. You can see you've got one that's kind of a ivory white, a silver gray, and then a champagne kind of a gold. And they both ends will come off like so. And then you can attach it back like so. If I can get it back on. Yep, like that. And I think I have one I show you in, in the clothing haul. I'm me putting it on and you get to see what it looks like. So that is that one. All to move. Oh, that's not, that's not a pin. Okay, these, these are, look like little chains. You get a package of two, like that. These are gold. I don't know if they have silver. I didn't think about silver. I think because I've got enough other stuff. But anyway, I saw these and what they were using them for is that for the lucky girls and boys out there who have very thin waist and their pants are too loose, you can actually bunch it up and then put this on one side and put another one, bunch it up and put it on the other side. And it just looks really cute. Me, oops, for me, there was a, like a little hair or something floating there. Um, for me, I'm going to use it as like something to close a sweater with. Because, yeah, my days of loose fitting clothes. And these are V's. This is hard. I've tried to use these. These are hard to get in the right spot on your little V. I've got it. It'll come off like this, or it'll go over like the V part is here, and it'll just kind of be like that. So, if you're very talented and want to spend time, these are really cute. One is one is gold, and one is silver, just like some of my friends. Keep the old, or what is it? How's it go? One is silver and the other is gold. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. Yeah. Okay. I think I learned that in Girl Scouts too. All right. So there's that. And I thought I had one more pin. If we come across it, I'll let you know. I will let you know. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Are you hearing? I wish you could talk back to me and say, yes, I hear you. <laughs> oh, here they are. Here's the pins. More silver and gold with little fake pearls. I'm going to say fake pearls. Okay. Here's a gold. And silver. Be kind of neat just to dress up your shirts on a night out. Okay, I think that is the pins. Got a couple pairs of earrings. So I kind of, I thought I found a pair of earrings I really liked. Let's start with these because this is what started this mess. Um, I found these this pair of earrings popped up on my screen. I went, ooh, these are cute. I want them. But then I went, I don't have any rose gold, uh, ro rose gold. I don't have any rose gold necklaces. Well, so it just sent me down that rabbit hole, right? So this is the ones I fell in love with. It's got a little bit of purple. Ooh. Oh, am I gonna have to buy a purple shirt now? Uh-oh. All right, so I better check my closet. But anyway, this has uh, got purple, there's silver, and then this rose gold in it and oh I'm wearing earrings but look at that so cute okay so that's what started me going down this rose gold 
rabbit hole. Uh oh, where'd the package go? Okay, I'm gonna keep them in there until I get ready to put them in my little plastic bags that I got from Tamu. And I'm loving that system, guys. So if you haven't seen it, uh, go back a few hauls. But I, uh, I got some. They look like little plastic bags, but they're very well made. And I've been putting my jewelry inside the bags because they have them in different sizes. And then I've got a tray and I just put them in there and I put my silver in one, gold in the other. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier for me to just go through. And then if I'm going on a trip somewhere, I can pick those out, keep them in their little packages, throw them in my bag. It's, I'm very happy with that system. So yes, those earrings. Okay. Is this the ones that are rose gold? No, this is gold. These are rose gold. Yeah. So those weren't completely rose gold, right? I thought, oh, well, let's just go with some more. This is supposed to be rose, rose gold. And these are cute. Little hoops. Let's see if I can get it back. Okay. And so far, I have had very good luck. Is that wood? I don't know. It's probably fake wood. There's real wood. But yes, I've had very good luck with um, the earrings not hurting my ears because I have very sensitive skin. And I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I've had, I've put on inexpensive earrings before and my whole lobe swells up and then it gets kind of pussy and I have to clean it and alcohol and all this kind of stuff. And so I've always, I'm just very cautious about buying inexpensive jewelry. Even my daughter said, oh mom, I don't know, you know, you, you most of the jewelry is really cute, but I don't know if you can wear it. So I thought, well, I'm just going to take a chance and buy a couple and see. And so far I've had absolutely no problem. Okay. There's, these have little you don't see these very much anymore, the little gold backs. And these are kind of cute. They're little, they look like little gold chains. It has a little design on the last one. I don't know. Well, let's see, can I get it up here? It's like a little design. Almost gives it that rhinestone look, but it's in, there's no rhinestones in it. And then this one is just gold. It's not rose gold. Oh. Goodness, maybe I should take them out. Okay. Yep, those are cute. But very interesting that those have actual little gold backs. Now I've I've got a whole package of the rub the rubber backs that I like to use on my earrings because they seem to stay better. So I probably will replace those with that. Oh, and I was gonna show you, I was shocked. Okay. On that very first pair, look at the back on this one. Has anybody else got backs like this on theirs? So some of the earrings I've hauled before, <laughs> the little rubber part was so tiny. It was, it was just, it was falling out of the bag and I couldn't find them. I still don't think I found some of them. But anyway, look at the size of this one. And it's like, I don't think it's got a hole at the end either. So it just, it stops. I had not seen anything like that before, but I like them. All right. Now, is that all the earrings? I got empty packages here. Uh, let's see. I think that was from the, the bracelets. And I made a mistake and got another one of these. So this is going to go in my giveaway haul or package thing, whenever giveaway, whenever I do that. So yeah, that happens all the time. I say it all the time, but it continues to be true. I just keep doing that. Next, so rose gold. Let's get back to that because <laughs> this one is rose gold. So I needed a necklace to go with the earrings. This one's a flat chain. It's very pretty. There's the latch. 
So yeah, look forward to wearing that. I'm kind of liking the simple stuff. Simpler stuff. I've shown that, I've shown that. Shown those, shown those. Oh, that needs to go in that box. Okay. This one's pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. This is one I think I was in in my last haul that you couldn't hear. Or that was so loud and spot you went, ah. So this is what was in there that I went, oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, this is it. Again, if this is, I have no idea if this is crystal. It may just be, I mean, it's cold. It might be a crystal that they formed to look like a crystal that maybe was deformed. You know, sometimes I, I used to go crystal mining and um, when you'd find them, you'd find some that were not quite formed right. Uh, so that you could cut them and that kind of thing. But that's kind of what that looks like to me. That's pretty little stones. And that's, it's adjustable. I wouldn't say it's a super expensive little chain. Nothing you're going to get from Timu unless you actually pay the price. So, you know, it's going to be, I think they've got, what is that they call that now? Mo moissanite or something like that. That's man-made. And you pay a price for that. Now these I paid the price for. I paid for as thin as these little things are. Okay, so I needed some new snake chain for some pendants that I have that I needed shorter chains with. But I didn't see any that were in a larger, This they had two sizes, and this is the larger of the millimeter size that they had. The one thing about snake chain is it does tend to kink, which can be a problem. But this one is actually well made, and the reason I say I paid more for these, I paid more for this little chain than I did the one I just showed you. The one it was the rocks because I, th I think this one is and you can see that the clasp is actually and I think it says 925 on it which is, gives you that sterling silver thing I think I'm not positive I don't have my glasses on I do see I do see some sort of number on there so I think I paid five dollars for this okay but that's still very inexpensive compared to, I have gone to Coles and when they had the cells on and to get some snake chain. And I think my 16 inch when I got that one time from them was almost $20 on sale. And that was of course sterling silver. So I don't know. Then I got a, I knew I had gold one. I wanted a gold one too. Oh, that's not it. This is a different one. Well, somewhere I have a gold chain, <laughs> like snake chain in there. This is a different one. So it's got, again, it's a little, well, this one might actually be a stone of some sort. It does look that way. At least I made it look that way. And that's all that's on there. It's just a very simple, very pretty. Okay. And this is not rose, rose gold. I don't think. It just says golden chain. Okay. Ah, and now I do see the golden chain that I actually was going to show you. Go in there. Go in there. All right. This is the gold chain. And I, again, I paid, I think, $5 for this one as well. So if you have, if it's, it was, it's not going to hold a, I wouldn't put a really heavy pendy on, pendy. A pendy. I wouldn't put a pendy on this. <laughs> I wouldn't put a very heavy pendant on this because I can see that that would be a lot of stress on it. It's not, I'm not saying it's very, that delicate because it is, I mean, it's being that it's snake chain, it is to me stronger, but I think it would look funny having a really heavy, chunky piece of pendant, a pendant on there. So it's more for a little daintier pendant. That was gold. Rose gold. 
So I have the one necklace, right? I have two pairs of earrings now with rose gold. I have now two necklaces that are rose gold. This one is very, I wouldn't say, this one just, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, I would I buy it again? Probably not. But I think for just every day playing for fun, it's kind of cute. It's got little rhinestones in it. Okay. It's a dainty. A lot of my jewelry is chunky. And so I kind of went, I don't dainty stuff. Let's try it. I like it. More packages than I have better empty. All right, have we already done all of that? Wow. Okay. All right, so what time is it? 40 minutes. I guess we better move on to the clothing haul, and then I'll come back and see you in a little bit, okay? See you in a little. Let's hope this works this time. And it didn't. It went off. I'll be back. Oh, there it goes. Maybe. Ready? Okay. Let's go do that. Here's the first shirt that I want to show you that I've hauled. I love all the bright colors. Can you see it? Look at all the bright colors in this. Yeah. I like, I like this kind of collar. The blue. And I've seen that I saw on the picture that they were showing. So it'd be a little hot. We just do that. Let's see if this what this looks like. I don't want I have my elbow. That would be very uncomfortable. So maybe three quarter. What would that look like? Three quarter. It's kind of the way they were showing it on Tamu. But it actually is the right sleeve length. This is a medium the back. Okay, next. Okay, I'm back with the second shirt. I forgot to tell you that the first shirt that you just saw was not a button-up. It was a pullover. Uh, it was polyester and spandex. I think just a 5% like spandex. Um, so, and of course the sleeves were elastic and uh, what else is there to tell you about it? It's washing the washing machine and throw it in the dryer. Okay, next thing I want to show you is this one. As you can see, it's beautiful. I love the colors. Absolutely love these colors. I love orange, navy blue, of course. And, um, oh my gosh, and it's got like this little brownish and grayish tones in it. The only thing is when I tried, it does have one button right here, right here is a button. That's it. So if you are, um, feel very secure about your cleavage and don't mind showing a little bit of it or a lot of it, for me, it would be a lot, uh, then yeah. This would be great for one of those special nights that you're looking for when you're with your significant other because <laughs> the minute you bend over, you see everything, okay? So, yeah, black bra, red bra, there you go. Right, I'm wearing a white one, which I also hauled from Tamu, and I will show you in a, the video. Uh, came in a set of three. I didn't realize they were underwire. I'm not a fan of underwire. Um, yeah, so it was really digging into me and I, I went to the very, it's either the first or the last, I guess, so that, you know, loosest setting I could go to on the clasps to try to help with the tightness of the underwire. But it still feels like it's digging and it's the right size cup and everything. So I don't know. I don't know, but it's just, I'm not a fan of the underwire, but I did need them. I did need more, some more, more support. So what I want to do is I'm going, this is something I'm going to show you. This is just one little item in my jewelry haul that I wanted to show. Cause I'm going to try to use this little pin to close this up just enough 
that I don't feel so insecure, okay? So this comes off here. And let's see, where do I want to put it? Let's put it like here. And I'm going to hook this one back. And I'm going to come over. And where do I want that to go? Right there, maybe. Let's see if it's too crooked. There might be a problem with these style. I'm trying to get it just right so it's not so crooked. Okay. Okay, I feel more secure now and not so um, like I'm going to be arrested <laughs> in the evening as a lady of the evening. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I mean, there are women. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with showing cleavage. I'm just at that age where I'm afraid if I show it, I will either run people out of the room or they'll arrest me for something. So yeah, uh, this is it, the back. I mean, other than just knowing I'm going to be using this pin, I love this shirt. It's going to be one of my favorite summer shirts, I can already tell. And we're back to the, this is the third shirt. Can you tell I like Paisley? I do, I like Paisley. So, I do like this one. I like the neck on it. I like the sleeveless. If I get cold, I can put a little sweater on over it. I think this would be pretty with a longer chain. The back, it does have a little button in the back. So that's fun. But I got it on. And all of these I think are mediums. If I find any that are not, I will let you know. And they are pretty much all polyester. But yes, I think this is really cute. I'm, so far I'm batting a thousand. Okay, number four. This one, of course, vertical stripe. Back, fronts, again, notched neck. Now, I will say, this one is a small. I, I thought I had got all mediums, but I, what I do when I look on Tamu, I look at their sizing charts because not all of the clothing will match up with the size you are. And I looked for bus size. And the small was the same pretty much in a medium that I'd been getting on all the other ones. I kind of wish I'd went to a medium instead of the small. I mean, it does fit. There's no issue with it fitting and I can bend it okay. But I kind of like them just a little, feeling a little bit looser through the shoulder. So I kind of wish I'd done that, but it's not gonna shrink. And, you know, it's probably, I will wear it. It's not my favorite, but, you know, a pair of blue jeans, shorts. It's gonna, and even with these, my uh, exercise pants on, doesn't look bad. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna be happy with this one. It's got, what do you call these kind of sleeves? Is it like cap sleeves? Is that what they call that? Yeah, let me think. It's a, yeah, see, it's a little tight right there. I wish I had gotten that special. Oh, my back of that. Good old menopause, ladies. Good old menopause. All right. You know all about that, right? Menopause and madness. <laughs> Here we go. Next one. No, you are not seeing things. This design is on the very first shirt that I wore that was long sleeved. But I loved it so much that I wanted to get it in a short sleeve. So I've got one for winter and one for summer. This style is so cute and dressy. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. And I didn't know what necklace to put on there. So I just put on my little butterfly. But uh, it's got a button, one little button. Like I said, those are not fun to put on. But once you've got it on, it's on. It's easier to get it off than it is to get it on. It has the little elastic. So yeah, it's just getting, you know, it's kind of like putting on jewelry on a necklace. So yeah, look, and this is a medium. So I, I think I may have to wear this to, we're going to the Lion King. So the, the, it's not Broadway, but coming here, 
So we're going to go see the Lion King family. But now here's the funny thing. I'm trying to figure out what shirt, um, what necklace would go with this shirt. And I pulled out. So we went to, my daughter and my sister and I went to a uh, class to make malas. And this is the little bag we got with it. But we made this and I thought, oh, man, I bet the mala would look really good on here. Guys, no wonder I love these shirt colors. It is exactly the same colors. It just blends in. You can't even see it. Look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No wonder I've loved it so much. So, yeah, now I have two shirts, one long sleeve and then this one. And I just, I love the little lace. I didn't think I was going to, I was like, I don't know about the ruffly sleeves or the ruffled neck, but this is adorable. It's adorable. Very happy. One more look. And then I have one t-shirt to show you and we'll be done with the clothing for this, this round. I have more clothing coming. Last but not least, a t-shirt with from the solar eclipse that we had has the date on it I fell in love with this out of all the solar eclipse shirts that Tamu had I like the cut of this it is very soft it's polyester but it feels like cotton um, it will be a little warmer being that it's black but I can handle that I love this look at this design it's very Picasso looking I love it I love all that artsy style. So the back, front, it's longer than some. In fact, I brought my yoga pillow in where I could show you the length. So yeah, I like it. It would go good with a pair of uh, capris, even, you know, like little exercise type for capris, tight ones. So that was going to, that is going to end our hour, my, me, myself, and I. That's going to end my clothing haul for now. I have more on the way, as I've said before. So look forward to that and let's move along. Well, did you see anything there that you liked other than me? <laughs> no, <laughs> the clothing. I'm, just, I'm talking about clothing. I'm talking about clothing. All right. Uh, that was going to conclude it. I um, have a lot more and some that came in today. So, yeah, I, I feel like I should just run in there, change my shirt, make it look like it's a different day and go. Because there's a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it done. I hope you have the good rest of your day. God bless you all. Um, find peace and happiness and joy in your life. And when the hard days come, don't let them win. I did show a sign that said, or a little sticker that had that. I still have to put that on my car. I, I was, I'm really scared to do that after I put the one on the washing machine. So I'm a little terrified to put it on, but I need to do that. I need to get out there and put that on my car. I watched another car. I was stuck in traffic, and they had little signs all over their car. And it entertained me while I sat in traffic, just reading all the signs. I don't want that many signs, but it was fun. It was actually, I enjoyed it. And the things they said were nice, so that was good. It's good to have nice things on cars <laughs> instead of the bad stuff. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye until we meet again. Oh, here we go again. Let's see if this works.